Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing another update on this uh, Fluxgate generator setup. The one I'm playing with. It is still the design by T1000. Uh, the difference is now that... Uh, let me look for something here. Should have done it before I begin the recording. Ah, I have it already. Um, now I have a uh, seven pole rotor in there which gives me the best uh, possible um, performance meaning way less cogging but before this uh, seven uh, pole rotor I tested a nine one on those three spots things I should watch maybe yeah I tested a uh, nine pole rotor which is this one I already removed the half disc because I used them over there on this rotor so this one uh, I tested this one and this one gave me the same results as the 8 pole before that that's why I didn't make the video on the 9 one but this one is different here are the numbers driving it on 23 volts at uh, 90 milliamps as you can see the meter there it is just below the 100 milliamp range so it is pretty much around 90 Open Carlos now is 1159 RPM. In the previous videos on this, it was 700 and, uh, 720, something like that. So it's basically around 400 RPM more. When I load the Carlos uh, with LEDs, not like I have it now, but just um, load the two sets of um, three Carlos each. I get uh, 1155, so a drop of 4 RPM. When I short them in the same uh, configuration, so I short each set of 3 in series, I get 1162. And when I connect the coils, like I have it now over here in this tiny diagram, I've made another diagram. I will post it on the forum and uh, for those that want to see it, it's nothing special basically. It's like this. In this configuration, the RPM uh, is 1190 and 59. When it's connected like that, so it stays the same as open coils. And when I put the LEDs on it, it stays at 1159 or it goes a bit higher. Let me get, where's the meter? Give me a moment. Gonna measure it now to see where it's at at this moment. It should, it, yeah, as you can see, it is now 1160. I've written 1195, sorry, uh, 59. Yeah, 59. So it is now at 1160, which is one RPM higher than the starting RPM. But I'll only get that little bit of speed up you might say when I have it in this configuration not when I short or use or load the coils with the two separate uh, two sets of three series coil yeah something like that anyway uh, oh yeah. show you in the dark I have another um, lamp over there. This one watt over here is from the back EMF. And as you can see, the neon is still on. And that one is from the back EMF also. Here are the LEDs. They're not bad. Nothing spectacular, nothing special. Just loading the cars down. And this, I can switch it off. If I switch it off or switch it on, nothing happened to the system. Nothing at all. Million draw stay the same. Uh, so once more, there it is. So basically, uh, the idea for me is now I have here a little bit of lamp, a light output. Yeah, I consider the neon also. So whatever I'm going to gain out of here, I will put directly to back to the source. 
We'll see how it goes. Um, am I forgetting something? More? I don't think so. Oh yeah, almost forget something. Let me stop it. As you can see, the moment I switch it off, everything is out, except for the output of the generator cars because it is still spinning. Okie dokie. I can still, and you can still see where the little bit of cogging is still there, but not much. And if I give it a little spin, yeah, I think you get the idea. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.